I'm Joseph, welcome to my channel. Uh, I just come back from an Erasmus and I will share my experience with you. So be ready, I have a lot of information just for you. So I'm from Belgium, I'm studying tourism and I made study abroad for four months in Riga in Latvia, if you don't know where is it. During this video you will see some uh, files appearing here. It's video I made during the Erasmus and if you want to have more information about a city or a stuff we made, you just have to, to click on this link uh, when it appears or you can go to my channel and see all the video I made. So now everything is said, so we are ready. Jingle! So welcome to Triba, our university for this semester. A uh, huge private school, that was a surprise. And uh, yes, we finished before Christmas. So some practical information about the school. Here at Triba, the task you have to do during the year represent approximately 50% of your final marks. So that's pretty cool. The level is a little bit more easy than in Belgium, but that's okay. Triba offers a lot of topics and for each of them of course you have lectures and here one lecture is one and a half hour but most of the time you have two lectures in a row so that means you have three hours of the same topic. At school you can easily improve your English, maybe not for the grammar but for that you have the um, online lecture from Erasmus and you can do that by yourself without any problems. You can have from 10 to 50 students in one classroom, but it's mostly uh, a board student because the local has lecture in Latin, so there is not a lot of interaction uh, between local and us. During this Erasmus, we met a lot of people from all around Europe, but also from India and Uzbekistan here. And that was really great as a tourism a student to meet other culture. Speaking about culture, it's time to come home and discover the Latvian culture. No! This is Eric, my classmate from XCD Isalt, our school in Brussels. Before going home, uh, we will be uh, in the city to see what Riga and what Latvia has about the culture. What we can say is that uh, the people are very shy and they don't like to speak to foreign people. And now I will show you the two national sports in Latvia. Riga has a really really beautiful uh, old town and there are many things to visit and to see like for example the Black Hat House or many museums. The nightlife in Riga is also very very nice. There are a lot of uh, nightclubs, discos, bars. In addition the prices in the bars are less expensive than in, uh, in Belgium or in, in western countries so it is really really nice to party to make party here. During these four months in Erasmus we uh, survived a lot of things and uh, also a lot of events like the agriculture and culture event and the light festival for example. So during this year uh, we ha had also the chance to be here in Riga uh, for the 100th anniversary of uh, Latvia. So you can find the link here and it was like really really beautiful. It was uh, The firework was amazing. Almost uh, the whole country came to uh, Riga to, to, to celebrate together and it was just uh, mind-blowing. Don't worry for the food because it is really, really, really great, uh, and uh, it's like almost uh, in Bel like in Belgium or in uh, in the Western country. So when you do grocery shopping in Latvia, it is sometimes very funny because uh, everything is in Latvian and you don't understand what is what. So uh, for example, you have here uh, Karset's milk and here Pient's milk. 
so which one is the good one which one is disgusting so you have to try it and you you will find out so this one is actually the and this is the good one now we are back to my room and I will explain some stuff uh, we didn't film um, there don't worry there is no snow every time of the year uh, it just appears at the beginning of December maybe uh, end of November uh, but when it appear, it appear for a long time. Before that, we had a very good weather. We uh, went to the to the beach, uh, swim in the Baltic Sea. So, but you can walk uh, with a short and a t-shirt until the end of September. Uh, we met a lot of Erasmus students from all uh, around Europe. That was really great to see how other European countries, uh, the common points, the differences. It was very, very, very interesting. And now I have a lot of friends uh, all around Europe. So yeah, maybe now I feel a little bit more European than before. At the dorms, uh, it's some rooms uh, at the university. Uh, but we were four in the room so it was not very comfortable so uh, with five uh, other guys we decided to live together just after one week uh, that was very funny uh, risky deal and um, yeah we, we try and uh, we live four months without any problem it was just an amazing experience so our flat was in the city center so that was pretty nice to have an access to everything in the city and the bus stop was not so far from our flat so we can go to the university without not a lot of problems so that was really nice speaking about buses uh, and the public transport in general uh, there is a lot of uh, public transport in Riga and it's very cheap uh, when you have the student cards there uh, it's 30 cents for a journey so it's not very expensive and, and in general the life is cheaper there than here so it's good for your wallet and you can do more activities during an Erasmus yeah, you have to go to school you have to succeed and pass and succeed your exam uh, but there is another important part is the uh, traveling the visits and uh, Riga for that is really really nice because it's a central point between uh, the Baltic uh, countries you are in the middle so you can do road trips uh, to Lithuania or to Estonia uh, visit the two capitals Vilnius and Tallinn Riga of course you are there so you have all the time to visit that and you can visit bigger cities as St. Petersburg or uh, other capitals of the Scandinavian country as uh, Stockholm and Helsinki but if you only have uh, one trip to do uh, is the Lapland trip it was uh, my favorite experience you have the link just here and um, yeah this trip was just amazing and <laughs> If you, only, if you have only one to do, it's this one. So it's already time for the conclusion. This Erasmus experience was just amazing. I have just this world in my mind, it's amazing. Uh, I met a lot of people, I discovered a lot of um, cities, culture, countryside. And also uh, learn to live by yourself. Uh, if you, there is an issue, you have to resolve it by yourself. There is no parents around you. And in Latvia, people don't speak English all the time, so you have to find other solutions, so your imagination has to work. So <laughs> sometimes that was really funny. I met amazing people. If you have the chance to do that, don't hesitate one second. Go for it and have fun in Erasmus. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, see you maybe later uh, if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's a real pleasure. I have a lot of other uh, stories to tell you. So uh, goodbye and good luck if you go to Erasmus and live your life.